Well hello there, welcome back to another video. Great news, I have been invited to participate in the PlayStation software beta and that means I am doing an SSD installation for you guys today. So I've got my SSD, um, you can join the PlayStation beta, I only joined it last week, um, I signed up to participate in the beta. I'll put a link in the description of where you can sign up. I only did it about six days ago, so there's a chance that you could get selected uh, to do so, and then you can install your SSD before everyone else, like moi. So what we've got to do, uh, you, PlayStation will send you a code. You then uh, redeem that code in the PlayStation Store. Then we'll go to Settings. We're going to go to system system software system software and update settings and then if you're eligible the update system software beta hit that update press ok I agree so I'm pretty sure in here it says if they break your PlayStation it's uh, your fault so just bear that in mind but I really don't foresee that happening Okay, so I've installed the new software. Straight away I noticed something new. Next to Stranded Deep it says PS4. But if I go over here, yeah, it will say PS5. Turn off the PS5 so we can install the SSD. Right, to install the SSD, you obviously will need an SSD. I've got a Corsair MP600 Pro. Um, you can watch my other video that I will appear now in the top right hand corner and in the description uh, five SSDs that are compatible with the PS5 but for now I've got this one so let's get into it put the PS5 upside down get your flat head, take the base off and you want the PS5 disc side up if you have a digital then you want it face towards you, it's the right side with the front face toward you. Hand, top right hand corner, you want to gently pull up and down. Other hand on the black bit at the bottom, pull the cover off like so. The SSD is going to go in this port right here. So get your Phillips head screwdriver, unscrew the cover. Take it off like so. Before we do anything else, just hit the power button a couple of times. That is going to discharge any charge in the capacitors, so there's no charge in the PlayStation whatsoever. We get our SSD just like so. Here we have it. This one already has a heat sink, but remember if it doesn't have a seat heat sink you will have to buy one separately now you've got this groove here for a screw and obviously this side plugs in so all we have to do put it into the PlayStation lift it up and gently slot it in so you hear the click and then in here there is a, a screw it's got this little metal thing here this metal spacer you're going to get that and put it into the port the screw port next to the SSD And screw it in like so and that's gonna hold it in place now the cover isn't gonna go back on with this the Corsair it's too too tall we're actually gonna leave the cover off so that way when air gets sucked in it's gonna come into contact with the heat sink and that is gonna help keep it nice and cool so after we've done that store the cover somewhere safe so you don't lose it so if you ever take it out or anything you can put it back on 
we're going to get our face plate. It's going to go over like that. You'll feel it slot in. Hold the white bit here and the black bit at the top and just clip it on like so. Okay, so I've got it all plugged in. Plug all your peripherals back in, power cable, HDMI, and we're going to turn it on. Format M.2 SSD, a read speed of 6560 megabytes a second, so that's more than fast enough, although the package does say 7000, but we can forgive that. So there we go, it's telling us how to move games onto the SSD. We're going to go settings, storage, and there we have it, Corsair MP600 Pro, 1.01 terabytes. So we've just got the format data here, but there's nothing on there. So I'm going to go console storage, games and apps. I'm going to go Ghost of Tsushima. Select items to move. I'm going to move it. Okay. So now that's done. There we go. It read the Ghost of Tsushima. Performance is very good. It's about the same as the uh, PlayStation internal SSD, the rate it loads. Let's load it up, see how quick it loads. Pretty quick. The game runs smoothly. Can't complain. It looks and behaves normal as well. I have the Ghost of Tsushima on here because I will be doing a tips and tricks video very soon. The Director's Cut and Ghost of Ikishima comes out. But yeah, very happy with the performance of the SSD. The game loaded very quick, it transferred very quick. I've effectively tripled my uh, storage of the console as well. It was £185, which isn't terrible, uh, about right I'd say. You know, uh, the cheapest model, the price changed since I did my original video. Uh, the WD Black SN850 went from £160 to £153, which is pretty good. That's on uh, Amazon Dakota UK. I imagine prices will be similar in other currencies. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found the video helpful. Remember to like and subscribe, all that jazz. And I will see you in my next video.